I'm going to teach you a very strategic way to have major influence. I hope you're a good person. If your intention is anything other than influencing people for good, then I suggest you dislike this video and leave. I'm going to teach you how to influence people to do what you want. This isn't a gimmick. This is real influence. But if you're looking to manipulate, I don't want you here. I'm going to guide you through the strategy that I use and that I help my clients use to build a following, help millions of people and make seven figures. The first thing that I want to discuss is influencing people to do what you want is the wrong idea. What you want really doesn't matter. It's about what they want. But what if you could influence someone to help them achieve what they want? What if your services were a match to help them accomplish their own goals? If you're still watching this video, then I assume that you and your businesses help people. Like your services are created to help people accomplish their goals or to achieve more. You've got to find out that they're a fit. And if they're a fit, then you can use the strategies in this video to influence them to buy from you. If you can actually help them to achieve what they want, that is real influence. One of my favorite quotes from Spider-Man always comes to my mind when I'm talking about influence. Okay, so his Uncle Ben is giving him advice. And I get emotional when I think about this. It's a movie, but think about this. With great power comes great responsibility. And that really is the, the responsibility that I put upon you if you're going to follow the steps that I teach here. I also believe that when you have the power of influence, you'll be judged for how you use that influence. If you're using it to influence others for good, that'll be good for you. But if you use it to influence others for your own good and not for theirs, that'll be bad news for you. Now let's talk specifically about how to become an influencer on YouTube. This isn't about selling. This is about giving value. I'm going to cut right to the chase and admit that the best way to do this is by making how to videos on YouTube. So we know that the end goal is to have them buy from you, but we're not going to push it upon them. We're not doing push marketing here. We're not going to put a promo video in front of them. We're putting out how to videos that people are going to find that they're already searching for. So they're asking questions and then they find your video is the answer to that question. Think about how refreshing that is. Instead of having to push your message on people, people are searching you and they're building a relationship with you. They trust you. They're getting value from you. Now there are people right in this moment that are actually searching for you. They just don't know that you exist. So what I mean by that is they're going to Google or YouTube all around the world right now. There are people on their computer or on their phone typing in questions that you are the perfect person to answer. That's what we're talking about here, making videos that these people will find. And get this, the entire time that they watch your video, you're making eye contact with them. Okay, so that's an important thing. You've gotta make sure you're always looking into the lens of the camera. Have you seen some of those videos where all of a sudden there's a side view? They call it a two camera shoot. And we think that that's a good thing. The more cameras, the better, but it switches back and forth and you break eye contact. It just doesn't work. In these how-to videos, you've always got to make sure you're looking right into the lens. Also, let me talk about a teleprompter just for a minute. Now, in the beginning, I loved using a teleprompter because it gave me confidence. But eventually, I could use my notes. I'm using notes right now, and every once in a while, I will pause, I look down, look back at the camera, and then I, then I continue on, okay? And you can do that. It makes it really easy. But in the beginning, I really needed to use a teleprompter. The problem with the teleprompter, though, is most people get one on their phone and they set it just below the camera. So I'd be looking down here reading the teleprompter. That doesn't work, okay? If you get a teleprompter, make sure you can look right at the lens so you're still looking them right in the eye. One of the ways that trust is built is by vulnerability. When we're in a relationship with somebody, a spouse or a friend or anybody, when we're vulnerable, we put ourselves at risk. But when that person honors that vulnerability, then we know that we can trust them. So our trust has increased and that's how relationships are built. Vulnerability can also translate to authenticity, especially on video. When you're being authentic, when you're being the real you, you're putting yourself out there. That is a measure of vulnerability and the viewer sees that and they build a level of trust with you. The more that you open up and share the real stories, the real experiences that you've had that have helped you learn this principle, the more you're inviting people into your life. And so people really get to know you. And, and of course, they increase their trust in you. Now think about your own experience on YouTube. Typically, you'll watch one episode. And if you like it, if you trust that person, 
you'll probably come back and watch another one. You'll subscribe to their channel. And like I mentioned earlier, that whole time they're making eye contact with you. And so there's a strong relationship built here. So every episode that you create like this and put on your channel, it becomes a tool helping you build relationships on autopilot. Now that you've given them value, you've answered their questions, and now they have this level of trust with you, now you need to invite them to do something. It's called a call to action. One of the most effective calls to action is actually offering them a gift, right? So you've given them so much value in answering their questions, and now you give them a gift, whether it's a free book or a mini course or something like that that will help them learn the principle or help them answer their question even deeper. So you say, now that you've learned A, B, and C, I want you to go a lot deeper with this, and I've got my book. If you pay the shipping, I'll give you this book for free. Go ahead and click the link below, and you can get access to that now. So this gift, you may have heard it called as a lead magnet. That's what will turn your viewer into a lead in your business. The whole reason that we have that call to action and the lead magnet is this way we're using YouTube for lead generation. Lead generation is far more valuable than ad revenue. A lot of people, when we talk about using YouTube for business or YouTube for making money, they're talking about the ad revenue, just getting a lot of views and making a share of that ad revenue that YouTube receives. Every channel is different. And there's this ratio of how much ad revenue to lead revenue you get, and every channel is gonna have a different ratio. I've seen it as low as one to 10. Perhaps that should be the minimum. If you're making $1,000 in ad revenue, you should at least be making $10,000 in your business. Whatever that time frame is. Let, let's take a bigger number. If you're making 100,000 a year in ad revenue, you should at least be making a million a year in business revenue. Now, I'm gonna share some big numbers with you, but these are realistic across many channels that I produce. If you're making a certain amount in ad revenue, typically you're making 100 times that in business revenue. There's even one channel that I produce that is so, so niche, but yet what he sells is high priced. He's making about 1,000 times the revenue from his business that he does in his ad revenue. The next video that I want you to watch right now is this one right here where I interviewed Noelle Randall. Her channel is currently generating 4,000 leads per month. If you want to get those type of results, you got to go watch that video now.